Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Elise, and if you are not new, then thank you so much for coming back for another video. I just noticed how fast I say thank you so much. I say like, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank. Like, girl, girl, slow it down. So for today's video, this is actually a first for me. I am going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. I'm just going to be talking about some stable products that I absolutely love, some products that I've repurchased over and over again, other products that maybe I've just been using for a while now. I'm not really talking about too, too many like brand new, like right off the shelf products. I'm really talking here about products that I've been using and I could really swear by and I would really recommend for you guys to try out. If you do not know, the Sephora is having their annual sale now it is going on from I believe well for Rouge it started the 24th I think it was but I'm VIB so for me it started today which is the 30th and it's going to run until okay yeah so it's running till September 3rd so that is what the deal is I am so excited about that the four is stingy when it comes to coupons okay they don't play us when it comes to coupons when they give us a little something something it only happens twice a year and we go for it girl we go guns blazing like I'm about to go into bankrupt because I'm gonna use this coupon type of debt like that's how people be getting for these sales so yeah enough blabbering and let's go ahead and jump into my recommendations for this year's Sephora VIP sale I was thinking about doing like skin eyes face but I think I think I'm just gonna kind of go in whatever order um so the first product I've raved about for such a long time and I genuinely genuinely love this and I know so many of you guys love it so much too and this is actually something that I'm buying for the sale this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream this is a cream that we got on our Boxy Charms I want to say it was in June this is such an amazing cream you guys and I've talked about this so many times um, but basically this cream smells like heaven on earth like, it really does smell so good. It's so soft, so moisturizing, and it just, honestly, like, the smell is amazing. I'm not, like, a huge cream person. Like, you don't see me reaching for lotion as often as I should. But ever since this thing came in my BoxyCharm, I've been using it nonstop. And I still have not gone through it, believe it or not. Like, this is where I'm at. I still have about half of it left. I put it in my purse. I take it with me to work. I take it with me in my car. Like, I do not play with my Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. It smells amazing. Everybody loves when I put this on. I get so many compliments. People ask me what perfume I have on. I'm like, okay, girl, this ain't no perfume. Um, but it really does smell so good. It feels so soft, and it just makes your skin feel so hydrated, so moisturized, and so soft and supple. And this goes for $20, but I'm definitely going to be getting the bigger one, um, which is $45. So this is a pretty pricey cream, but if I can tell you it's worth it, it's worth it, okay? Next product I have is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is what it looks like. Love, love, love this primer. And primer to me always seemed like it was something that was gimmicky. A couple years ago, if you told me that I would like not wear foundation without primer, I would have been like, girl, stop it. Because I used to be like, what's the point? Like, what's the point for that? But I'm telling you, all you have to do is find the right primer for your skin and you will seriously eat all of your words if you do not believe in the power of a good primer. That I have pretty open pores, especially around my nose area. And a lot of the times, when I put foundation over it not so much initially but as the day goes on and the foundation kind of seeps into my skin I start to look a little bit holy here um and that's just because of my pores so I love this primer because it does such a great job at really filling in those pores of mine so that my skin doesn't look you know so weird with foundation over it it just honestly does a great job at really evening out my skin really keeping my texture in check I know it has mixed reviews some people just don't like it but to me it works so well and I really really do love this primer so I highly recommend this if you have not tried it and just so you know the price is $38 so it is a little bit pricey but if you can get your hands on it I highly recommend that you do this is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream full coverage cream this is pretty much what I wore all summer long especially in the daytime you really didn't see me wearing this too much at night but during the day whoa Nelly like I literally wore this all the time I love this because it has SPF built in it if you are someone that constantly forgets SPF and just like leaves the house without it I'm telling you you want to get something with SPF built in it because it just does the work for you you don't have to go out of your way to find a you know a SPF and your foundation this is very full coverage for a CC cream if I put two to two and a half layers of this on like it really covers all of my freckles and it really gives me that full coverage look if you can get your hands on this I highly recommend that you do it's really really good and this also goes for $38 so the next product that I have I actually did a whole entire video on this and as much as I can sit here and say I don't want to talk too much about it I'm probably gonna end up talking a lot about it so yeah brace yourself this is the Huda Beauty easy bake powder I did a pick or pass style first impression review on this maybe about a month 
ago or so and I have not stopped putting this down since I'm not even kidding you guys this has seriously been my loose powder of choice for the past like month to month and a half I think the packaging is really nice the only thing that's a little bit annoying about it is this um, matte feeling cover I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this but like you can get fingerprints on it and like you know the powder can get on it and it just starts to leave fingerprints on it which is a little bit messy but I really don't care that much about that. What I do care about is the product that's on the inside, and let me tell you, it is amazing. Absolutely love it. I think it just does a great job at holding up your skin. I do have oily combination skin, so I do really rely on a loose powder, not always for baking, but just for setting my makeup, because if I don't set it, I'm going to regret it. Because as the day goes on, my skin is definitely going to get oily, it's going to start creasing, and it's just not going to look cute. So I always have to use a setting powder, because that's what's really going to keep my makeup in check, Especially in the summertime love this so much it holds up so well and it really just does a great job at making my skin look beautiful and not too powdery and not too like cakey but at the same time it really just you know holds up my skin and it makes it look really nice and I just cannot say enough good things about this I use mine in the shade banana bread and something that I love about it is that it does have about eight different shades so chances are you can absolutely find a shade for you this goes for $34 and I think it is absolutely worth the purchase the next product that I wanted to talk about is actually something that I really recommend that you purchase especially now because it is limited edition and you don't want this to get away from you you definitely want to buy it while you still have the chance I talked about it in my last favorites video. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. This was co-created between Smashbox and Nicole Concilio. And I cannot say enough good things about this primer water. I mentioned in my favorites video that I had never tried the Smashbox Primer Water before this. And now I don't want to try the original. If it doesn't smell like coconuts, I just genuinely don't want it. It just smells so good. It feels so nice. It has a really fine mister. Even my daughter loves this stuff. Like, she'll be like, I want to put some spray on. It's so nice. It feels so good on your face, especially in the summertime. It gives you, like, that whole, like, tropical vibe. So this is limited edition, so it's probably going to go away when the summertime goes away. So you don't want it to get away from you. I definitely recommend that you pick it up in this VIB sale because it is definitely worth it. This goes for $32, and it is worth every single dollar. I'm going to spray some more. That stuff smells amazing. And it feels so good, especially when you're hot. Like, it's hot in here. I don't have my AC on right now because I'm filming and I don't want it to be, like, in the background. So I'm already starting to get hot because the lights are, like, all up in my face. So I just love to spray that because it just gives me a little bit of a pick-me-up. You know what I mean? I love it. I love it. If you are looking for a good medium to full coverage foundation that smells amazing, looks amazing, and it's just amazing, get yourself the Sweet Peach Foundation by Too Faced. This came out, I think it was last year. I have a whole collection on this, but I love this foundation. I've kind of noticed that I've turned into a little bit of a foundation snob. Like, I look for a specific coverage in my foundations, and it's a, it's a coverage that I can't even begin to explain to you. But as somebody with freckles, it's, it's hard because it's kind of like there's this kind of like a silver lining with somebody with freckles because... Do you want to cover your freckles or do you want to show them? Like, what are you trying to do, sis? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of like where I'm at a lot of times. And this is what the foundation that I'm wearing right now, by the way. It does a great job at giving me that medium coverage look that makes my skin look pretty. But at the same time, I can still see my freckles through. But at the same time, it looks beautiful. Like, I don't even know how to put it into words. And that's what I'm telling you guys. I'm troubled with speaking on how I feel with foundations. Like, maybe it's something that I'll be able to put into words someday. But right now, I just can't even begin to process how I want to say this. As somebody with prominent freckles, like, what foundation do you use? Do you, do you use something that's really full coverage and just completely covers them? Or do you use something that's sheer and shows them through? Or do you use something that's in between, that shows them through, but at the same time, even your skin, it makes it look really good. And that's kind of like where I'm at. That's kind of the best way that I can explain it. I just love this foundation. If you have oily combination skin and you're looking for a formula of foundation that is comfortable, it gives you the coverage that you need. And at the same time, it doesn't weigh on your skin and feel super heavy. I highly recommend this foundation. It smells really good too. It smells like peaches, which is nice, and it stays on your skin for a very long time. It is oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, and photo-friendly, which is so true. I never got any flashback with this on. I get compliments when I wear this. People say my skin looks really nice, really radiant, and looks like I'm glowing from within. Like, I have that prego glow. You know what I mean? I've gotten that when I've worn this, and I'm like, okay, sis, thank you, but I ain't pregnant. So I just really love this foundation, and I'm sorry for that explanation because it made no sense, but... I really do love it, and if you're looking for a good medium to full coverage foundation, you need to try this, period, point blank. So for eyes, I actually have two different eye products that I wanted to talk about, two standout products that I would absolutely repurchase again and again and again and again and again. And I'm going to kick it off with the Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This palette is amazing. 
like I've already put it through the ringer so much you guys and I, like I love this palette so if you're the type of person that doesn't have like a lot of makeup and you kind of just want to get your feet wet start off with some things and you kind of need a good palette and you need like a good lipstick and you just need like some staple things but you don't really know where to start I'm gonna tell you right now you need to start with this palette because this is definitely an amazing palette it's $42 so it's not super expensive to the point where it's gonna break the bank how some of them other palettes are that make you feel like you're giving away a kidney you know what I mean and I'm telling you it is worth the $40 it's worth the $40 like this palette is amazing it's super versatile I've worn this so many times I've done so many different looks with it I've done smoky eyes because it has a really nice potent beautiful black in it I've done really neutral eyes and I've done so many different looks with this palette it is so versatile you can do glittery eyes I really do recommend that you try this out if you haven't all right so next and last for the eyes I wanted to talk about the Stila uh, oh my stars glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow mini set so this is what it looks like and I'm really excited to say that this is only $25 for these little thingies right here which it sounds so crazy to say that like if you're not a makeup person you're gonna be like $25 just for those things like but if you are a makeup person you're gonna be like oh my god that's so affordable so it really just depends like if I showed this to my mom and I said this is $25 mom for these things she'd be like yeah, you if you have worked with glitter makeup before you know it's a pain in the ass like, because it gets everywhere it gets messy if you don't have glitter glue forget about it like it's just a lot of work it could be really high maintenance don't get me wrong I love glitter especially for like New Year's and stuff like that in the holidays but it's a lot to work with and it's getting to get really messy really quick so I love these because of their formula because it's a lot easier to use so basically what you're getting is a little tube like this and it has like a doe foot applicator here and then once you apply it, it has a wet formula as you can see here, but look how foiled and look how beautiful that looks. Like that, this is actually what I have on my eyes right now. And don't get confused, they are the mini size and don't think, oh my god, like that's not gonna last. Girl, I've had these for like a while now. Like I've had this like since the holiday season. I've used them so much and I have not ran through any one of them. Like you really get a lot of use out of these. And I love them too because you have three different shapes. You have a little bit of a variety here instead of just buying each full size um, single shade, which is definitely gonna be a lot more expensive. So I definitely recommend you get the trio and they still sell them. They're $25. It's the Glitter and Glow set. If you are a glitter girl, you're going to love this. Alright, so the next product is actually something that I've repurchased many, many times. This is actually a lip product, and this is the Sephora um, Colorful Gloss Balm. And this is what it looks like right here. It's this little tube, and it's a lip gloss. I love these lip glosses. It's not going to focus on it because the words words aren't really clear on it but this is the shade earth angel and this shade is always sold out because it's always a hot item but it is such a good lip gloss even if you aren't looking for this particular shade they have so many different shades and I love this lip gloss it's one of my favorites and I've used it for so many years and I continuously go back to repurchase it because it is just such a nice lip gloss it feels really really nice it's not super duper sticky and it gives you some nice coverage and some really nice glossy lips I've been so into the glossy lips point I've used this lip gloss for many years and I've constantly repurchased it this is maybe like my third or fourth tube and Sephora has had these lip glosses from the Sephora brand for a very long time these are such good high quality feeling lip glosses and the best part is, is it's only eight dollars it gives you nice coverage it's not super sheer but at the same time it has a nice color to it so I highly recommend that you try it out if you're looking for a good lip gloss that is a little bit more on the affordable side and not too much on the bougie very expensive side so yeah really recommend this right here so we are nearing my final two products for this video and they are both from Fenty Beauty so I'm going to talk about them both very briefly because I think they're very self-explanatory for the most part since I was just talking about lip gloss I wanted to give a quick shout out to the Fenty Beauty gloss balm this lip gloss is amazing like I have three of these I have one in my kit I have one for myself and I have one as a backup for myself too this lip gloss is an experience okay it smells so good it feels so nice on the lips it's a very universal lip gloss and I think that's what it advertises itself to be because it looks beautiful on every different skin tone you can be very fair where it could look really pinky very rosy on you and you can be really deep where it can look more like a neutral shade on you to me it looks a little bit more like a neutral shade like a neutral pinky shade but I love it so much and honest to god you guys you cannot go wrong with this lip gloss I've put so many people onto this lip gloss especially in my family and in my close circle I cannot say enough good things about this lip gloss this goes for $18 and again this is the Fenty Beauty gloss balm and the very last product to wrap up this video is the Fenty Beauty again Stunna lip paint in the shade uncensored I've talked so many times about this red lip it has been driving me wild I love 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 this liquid lipstick it is so beautiful I cannot get enough of this red lip it is definitely my favorite red lip 
that I have in my entire collection. And I have a lot of red lipsticks, but this one definitely takes the topper. For one, the formula is beautiful. It's very comfortable. It's not too drying. It doesn't bleed, which is so important. I mean, who wants a red lipstick that could end up looking like a clown at the end of the day where you have like a huge ring of red all around your lips? Not a good look. It looks gorgeous on everybody. Like, it looks so vibrant, so red, so potent. And it's just the most beautiful red lipstick that I have. If I'm looking for a true red, I'm always going to reach for this. Because this is such a beautiful, true red. It makes your teeth look really white. It is such a nice red. And I really do recommend it if you haven't tried it out. So that wraps up my Sephora VIB sale recommendations for 2018. Like I said, a lot of these products are not like new, new. But at the same time, they're products that are staple products in my collection. And I find a lot of use out of them. So I only felt it was right for me to share them with you. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you find it helpful please don't forget to let me know what you end up picking up for the sale this year i would love to know and leave me some recommendations for me based on the products that i have here you might have some recommendations for me as well i would love to know them leave them in the comments down below i always like to interact with you guys down there and yeah that pretty much completes this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video